Hi there, this is just a quick little video to show you what I'm looking for when I go to uh, grade your graphing. This is actually the first question out of the math lab, part one. So we're asked to make a table of values based on this water tank that's gaining water at three and a half gallons per minute. So the table of values obviously is going to have these minutes in there and then volume since that's what gallons are. So we're gonna have time and volume. And time's going to start at time zero, and obviously that uh, water tank will be empty at that point, so we're still at zero. And we're told to go up to five minutes, so we might as well just go ahead and say this. Time will go zero, one, two, three, four, five. And our volume is going to gain three and a half gallons every minute, so at the first minute, we know we'll have made it to three and a half gallons. Another three and a half in the next minute, and so on until we have our volumes. Now, each of these is going to be a point on our graph. So this, for instance, right here could be written as an ordered pair, and that would be always in round brackets like so. That would be what the ordered pair would look like. Time is going to go on our x-axis. How do I know that? Since the amount of uh, water in the tank, the volume depends on time, volume has to go on the side. So I'm going to draw my axes. Always draw these lines. Those aren't optional. And we need some arrowheads on them because those keep going forever. I know that this side's going to be volume in gallons. And this is going to be time in minutes. Now the next thing that I know is my time is going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have way more than five boxes here. Don't just squish your data into these first five squares. Spread it out. Make it pretty because you're probably going to have to use this graph to read some information on. So I'm going to go up by two squares for each one. Make sure you're consistent. If it's two squares for this step, it has to be two squares for the next step and so on after that. Volume has to get all the way up to 17.5. Now, if you count these squares, you, you're going to find out you might as well go one square for each one. So I know zeros at the corner. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to make a little hash mark to anchor this number. One, two, three, four, five, another hash mark, and an anchor, and so on. And that's nice and neatly labeled and gives enough information so that you can put your dots um, wherever you need inside of that. So now let's talk about those dots. We know zero, zero is one, our first dot. That's at the point called the origin. We know we have the ordered pair one, 3.5. So I go over one and I go up 3.5 and so on. And I put all my dots. Now, since this data is actually linear, we know that Time marches one and one and one, and volume goes three and a half and three and a half and three and a half. I know this should end up a straight line when I'm all finished. And since this water is continually flowing into this tank, I am going to draw a line and connect these dots. There are my dots. Now I'm going to put a line, and I'm going to make it blue. And I'm going to start at this one, and I'm going to go like so. And I'm going to stop there because I don't know what happened after that. I'm going to make sure I have labeled on my axes. I'm going to put some sort of a title. And there is my graph. Always use a ruler. Always be neat. Make sure you're consistent in your labeling on your axes. Draw the actual lines that are those axes. And if you have any questions, holler.